Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Boyal and I welcome all of you to DISP Self-Learning Video Broadcasting Solutions. Now today I am going to tell you about how to create a waterfall chart in a click view. So first let me show you how a waterfall chart looks like then I will be going to explain you what is a waterfall chart, what is the use of a waterfall chart and how to create a waterfall chart in a click view. So this is a sample picture of a waterfall chart this will uh, and this will be going to create in click view. Now as you can see here that we have created a very colorful water chart over here. Now first of all let me explain you what is a waterfall chart. So waterfall chart is a form of data visualization that helps in determining the cumulative effects. It is also known as a flying brick chart or a Mario chart due to the appearance as you can see here the cogs and the expenses and the tax they are in a floating mode. Cogs is basically cost of goods sold, expenses and taxes. So it so due to the structure it seems that it is a floating chart, flying brick chart or a Mario chart because of the appearance. Now why use of waterfall chart? Basically waterfall chart is normally used for understanding that how an initial value is affected by the series of intermediate uh, of the positive or negative values. Now usually the first and the last column are represented by the whole column like as you can see here the sales and net profit has been presented by the whole column while the intermediate values they are represented by floating columns like as in my chart is the cogs, the expenses and tax they are uh, represented by a floating column. So let's start creating the same waterfall chart in a click view. So for this first of all I need to start my click view. So I have opened my click view. Now to create any chart first of all we required a data model. So in my scenario I will be going to use inline data model. So let me show you how to create an inline data model for a waterfall chart. So first of all you need to click on this icon that indicates edit script. So I click on this edit script and here I write my inline data model coding. So I write here load star inline and here category comma value. Now category we have different categories we have sales that is I give a value to sales then we have cogs the value is then we have expenses the value is and last we have text. Now as you can see here I haven't mentioned any net profit here because net profit I will be going to calculate with the help of expressions in click view. And now here I click on OK. After that I need to load this data model into memory. So how to do that? You can see here we have another option that is called reload. So I click on this reload button and my data model has been loaded into the memory. Now let's start creating a chart. So for start for creating a chart we required a bar chart. So as you can see here there is a sim option over here create chart. So I click on this create chart and here I select the bar chart and click on next. Here I am not going to select any dimension right now so I simply click on next. Now we need to add the expression over here so my first expression will be sum of sum of this bracket curly braces and category sales and value so this will be my first expression. 
So what I'll do is I'll copy this expression because I'm going to use the expression into another expressions also only with this category name change. So I select and copy this and click on OK. And I change the label to sales dollar. Now next I want to add one more expression. So again I click on add. I paste that copied expression over here and I change it to Cox and OK. And here I change the label to Cox dollar. Now next expression will be for expenses. So again I click on add, paste and in place of sales that will be expenses. Click on OK and change the label to be expenses dollar. Now we have to add one more expression here that is for text. So I again copy paste and here I add text and OK and here text dollar. Now as you can see here we have one more dimension, one more expression over here that is for net profit. But net profit is not available in our data model. So we need to manually calculate the net profit and display it over here in the chart. So let's see how to do that. So for that I need to add one more expression that that name will be net profit. So let's see how to add the expression. So I click on add. So net profit will be from the total sales minus individual sales. So I click here and minus and sum of categories of all the different categories. So here I add the COGS comma expenses comma text and click on OK and here net profit dollar. So like this I have calculated net profit manually. So now we have done this. Now let's see if I'll click on OK. Let's see what happens. So when I click on OK so you can see here my bar chart is ready over here with sales, <coughs> COGS, expenses, tax and net profit. But as you can see here it is not looking like a waterfall chart. So now I want to give it a look like a waterfall chart. So for that we need to again go back to the properties and add some more expressions. So again I right click over here on the chart properties. Now for like as I told you like the first one and the last one the sales and the net profit. We are not going to change this because they are being represented as the whole column. Like while the other intermediate values are represented by floating columns like COGS and sales, oh sorry COGS and expenses and tax, they will be represented as a in floating column. So we'll not be going to do any changes into sales and net profit. We'll be going to change into COGS, expenses and taxes. So to add the expression or to do the or to change this COGS bar into a floating bar. So for that we have to click over here and click on bar offset and simply add a definition over here or expression over here. So now what will be the expression? So expression will be total sale minus the COGS. Thus, okay. So let's see how to add that. So I simply click over here and write down over here sales minus and this will be box. Now once we add the expression over here let's see how does it looks like or is does it affect to our bar chart or not. So I click on OK and I simply click on apply over here. Now you can see here my COX bar has been moved from the bottom to the top as in equal to level to the sales. So this and it's looking like a floating brick. 
Now we have to do the same changes into expenses and taxes also. So let's see how to do that. Again click on expense bar offset and we'll need to add the definition over here. So what will be the definition for expenses? So the definition of expenses will be sum of category sales value minus sum of category COGS comma expenses. Click on OK and again OK. So now you can see here the COGS and expenses now they are in a floating mode. Now we have to do the same changes into text expression. So again I go to properties text bar offset and here write down the definition. So COGS comma expenses comma checks. Click on OK and apply. So you can see here this also has been moved up. So and it's also looking like a floating grid. Now I want to show the data values at the top over here. So I simply select individually one by one and check this option values on data point. Same with expenses values on data point and tax values on data point and click on apply. So you can see the values are over here at the data point. Now what I want is I don't want to show this legend over here because I have to check from here that this bar belongs to which category. It is it sales or COGS or expenses or tax or net profit what it is. So I want to show the categories over here at the below. So let's see how to do that. So to do that what you have to do is you have to simply right click on the chart go to properties and at the presentation tab there is a legend. So the show legend is by default it is checked. So we have to uncheck this and click on apply over here and you can see here we have the values over at the bottom and the legend is has gone from here. So you see that to creating a waterfall chart is so easy. So that's all for today's video and I hope that you enjoyed my video a lot and if you have any questions you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can visit our website www.bispsolutions.com that's all for the video thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead goodbye